Hi everyone, my name's Hayley Hughes and I'm an English teacher and the founder of GCSE English Literature Boost, this new YouTube channel. Now I've launched this channel to bring academics from top universities to GCSE students and connect them because I believe that literature is absolutely fantastic and I want to give you the chance to look at some of the GCSE texts that you do in slightly more detail or in a different way than you might get the chance to at school. Now if we think about those grade 9 conceptual grades that marking criteria tells us that students are exploratory, they're looking for things that are more critical and hopefully some of these lectures will give you the chance to look at the text in that way. Now GCSE Literature Boost will feature academics from universities as diverse as Oxford, Durham, Aston, York, Bristol, Reading, pretty much all over the country. And every single week we'll be dropping two videos that are connected thematically by characters, by structure or by context to some of your texts that you'll be studying. So do make sure you subscribe. Now, obviously, I'm an English teacher and I love literature and I think it's absolutely brilliant. But don't just listen to my opinion. Have a look at these famous writers to see what they think about literature too. Literature is my map to self-knowledge and my passport to other worlds. I love literature and this is why I write poetry. Literature is where I lose myself, and that's been the case all my life, and I don't see it changing now. Literature is the very thing that makes us human. All the way, going back hundreds of thousands of years ago, human beings have used literature to convey their emotions, to communicate, and to really express the very beating heart of what it is to be human. Literature is a place where I can step into and enjoy any world I want with the added free gift of seeing into other minds to add to my understanding of why people are the way they are. The reason I've always written stories uh, and read lots of stories is because they take you into other worlds. They take you into any number of other worlds, other lives, other cultures. They open your mind up to possibilities. They're entertaining, they're escapist, but also they make you think deeply about big subjects, um, but always having a good time while you're doing it. So I think the novel, the story, is the perfect way of escaping from reality and confronting reality. I love literature. It is possible when you read to follow somebody's life right from their birth to their death. Everything that us humans have created in this world good and bad, started out in someone's imagination. I love literature because it nourishes the imagination. I love poetry because it can be short or long, serious or fun, and lets you walk in the shoes of others. Literature is art, but written down. Literature uses words to paint the world we know in new and extraordinary ways so that we can see its beauty and its ugliness too. Literature uses stories and characters and language to explore the truth about human nature, to reveal what we truly are deep down inside. For me, literature is a way of finding out what goes on inside other people's head instead of just being inside my head all the time. And for me, that's a really good way of um, getting to know more about the world and being happier, frankly. Literature is great because Actually, I don't think there's an answer to that question. It's like saying animals are great because, or buildings are great because, or clothing is great because. Literature is just too big and complicated and various to describe it in a word, a paragraph, a whole book even. And in any case, some literature is not great. Some literature is absolutely terrible. Although you and me might disagree about which literature is brilliant and which literature is terrible. Literature can be an escape. Literature can be a challenge. Literature can be like taking a holiday in another world or in someone else's minds. Literature can be time travel. Literature can be depressing or boring or hard work. Literature can become an obsession. Literature can help explain the world to you. Sometimes literature is a job. Literature is like the room of requirement. You don't have to go in there. Some people will never go in there and that's absolutely fine. But if you do go in there and you search around somewhere among the clutter, you will probably find something that fits you just right. Something which belongs to you and you never even knew that you'd missed. 